On today's episode, we're gonna talk about FigGem from Figma, what it is and why I'm so excited about it all of a sudden and how we're using it in Flux Academy. Let's rock and roll. Hey designer friends, what is up? My name is Ron Segal, welcome to Flux. If this is your first time here, this is where we cover design and how to make a living as a designer. And today I wanna talk about a somewhat new design tool. It's FigGem from Figma. So basically Figma, you must have you're probably familiar with Figma because it's one of the most popular design tool where you can design in the browser. And a few months ago, they released a new document type called FigJam, which is basically for jamming, for kind of like brainstorming together, collaborating on documents. And originally, I wasn't paying too much attention to this because I'm not really into online you know, brainstorming session or workshops. Obviously in 2020, everything became online and so you, that was became very, very uh, necessary. But besides the use case of collaborating and brainstorming with people online, I actually recently found it very, very um, helpful for me to organize my projects and plan out content or other things. And I wanna show you basically what it is and how we're using it and why I like it so much. So basically here you can see, it's a very, very kind of like simplified version of Figma, right? You can throw in shapes and write stuff there or just add sticky notes. So just have a bunch of sticky notes and you can have a lot of them and then you can connect things with lines if you wanna create kind of like flow charts or something like this. So overall, it looks very, very simple, right? The, the tools are super, super um, intuitive and there's actually very, very limited functionality. There's not too much that you can do with it. And the idea here is that you can have multiple people here and then you can collaborate on all of this together and it's kind of like a shared Google Doc. Now, originally I was like, okay, so why would I need to take notes? What am I going to do with this? But recently I was really struggling with planning our projects. You know, Flux Academy has become bigger. We have more people on the team. We have more projects at the same time. And it was actually a little bit overwhelming. Now we have project management tools, but it was very hard to visualize kind of like roadmap and what everybody's working on. So eventually I just took a kind of like a, a started using FigJam and I've actually found a template for gun chart and I started using it. So basically you can see here how I've structured it, just using basically rectangulars, um, kind of outlines the, the next few months of the year and basically started using this as a gun chart. Now, all of the different gun chart software that I was trying to use all of these project management tools, they were so difficult to, you had to set up a project and then you had to start a deadline and a start date and it was so complicated. And here it was so intuitive because it's just a rectangular that you can move around and you can align it to something. And so very, very easily it gives you, um, so what I wanted to see here is everybody on our team is working on different projects at the same line, but I wanted to see when each project is going to be launched to understand kind of like the, the launch cadence of things that we're going to be publishing here. And so this very, very easily with just, you know, basic rectangulars and coloring them by the type of person, like who is working on what, you can very, very easily see, you know, how, how many, what are we going to launch each month, you know, beside, uh, based on who's working on what. Now this is, here it was very e easy for me to visualize the cadence of how much we're launching things. Um, but then here, for example, I wanted to see who's doing what. So I took basically the same framework. Uh, I basically broke it down into the weeks and every month. And I took each uh, person on the team, what projects they're working on at the same time and put that on a timeline. So now it's basically the same content, but it's structured differently. So now I can actually see who's working on what and what's going to happen and um, gave me more visibility. So I can break down these things uh, by project or by, you know, by timeline, or uh, it just gives me way, way more uh, flexibility. Basically, it's so simple. You just take a rectangular, you put a collar on it, you, you write something in it and bam, you actually get like a visible gun chart. Everybody can look at it. Everybody can move things around very intuitively. The second thing that we're using it for is for planning our content. So basically I, here I created basically a, a 
little calendar and just with sticky notes with color, I can see who is going to publish a video on our channel uh, every month. And this is great because we can have basically a template and then every month people, everybody on our team can come in and just put in the sticky note, hey, here's the video I wanna do and in case we want to, we can always move these things around if we need to change, make a change in the schedule. And again, it's so much easier to move things around here and to edit, you know, hey, this is the video I'm recording now. Um, it's so much easier to visualize and plan this way because it's so simple. So I, what I found is that all of the different project management tool, because they're trying to be so robust, they become too complicated to use. And with something that is so, so simplified, minimal use of features, you can actually build whatever kind of framework you want for managing your project and creating a visibility that's important to you. So for me, it was important to see, you know, who is making what video. So again, we're using very simple colors here to understand what videos I'm making, what videos Ismail will make, what videos Kabarza will make. So again, very, very simple, but it's very, very open to creating what you want to do with it. And we are collaborating on this doc, even if we're not doing it live, you know, kind of like in a Google doc, everybody has access to it. And so everybody can edit their own uh, project. So I'm really, really excited about this. And I'd love to know what you are using it for. Yeah, probably workshops, that's what everybody's using it. But if you have a particular uh, use case for how you're using FigJam, let me know in the comments below and I will see you on the next video. Peace out.